This is Moonstalker at that place for walkthroughs with Mylene, Dragon Age Origins. Logain, my decision is final. I will stand by the Grey Wardens in this assault. You risk too much, Kaelin. The Darkspawn Horde is too dangerous for you to be playing hero on the front lines. If that's the case, perhaps we should wait for the Orlesian forces to join us after all. I must repeat my protest to your fool notion that we need the Orlesians to defend ourselves. It is not a fool notion. Our arguments with the Orlesians are a thing of the past, and you will remember who is king. How fortunate Marek did not live to see his son ready to hand Ferelden over to those who enslaved us for a century. Then our current forces will have to suffice, won't they? Duncan, are your men ready for battle? They are, Your Majesty. And this is the recruit I met earlier on the road? I understand congratulations are in order. Thank you, Your Majesty. Every Grey Warden is needed now. You should be honored to join their ranks. Your fascination with glory and legends will be your undoing, Kaelin. We must attend to reality. Fine. Speak your strategy. The Grey Wardens and I draw the Darkspawn into charging our lines, and then? You will alert the tower to light the beacon, signaling my men to charge from cover. To flank cover. the Darkspawn, I remember. This is the Tower of Ishal in the ruins, yes? Well, who shall light this beacon? I have a few men stationed there. It's not a dangerous task, but it is vital. Then we should send our best. Send Alistair and the new Grey Warden to make sure it's done. You mean, I won't be fighting in the battle? We need the beacon. Without it, Loghain's men won't know when to charge. You see? Glory for everyone. You rely on these Grey Wardens too much. Is that truly wise? Enough of your conspiracy theories, Loghain. Grey Wardens battle the Blight no matter where they're from. Your Majesty, you should consider the possibility of the Arch Demon appearing. There have been no signs of any dragons in the wilds. Isn't that what your men are here for, Duncan? I... Yes, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, the tower and its beacon are unnecessary. The we will not Magi... trust any lives to your spells, mage. Save them for the Darkspawn. Enough! This plan will suffice. The Grey Wardens will light the beacon. Thank you, Loghain. I cannot wait for that glorious moment. The Grey Wardens battle beside the King of Ferelden to stem the tide of evil. Yes, Kaelin. A glorious moment for us all. You heard the plan. You and Alistair will go to the Tower of Ishal and ensure the beacon is lit. What? I won't be in the battle. This is by the King's personal request, Alistair. If the beacon is not lit, Tern Loghain's men won't know when to charge. So he needs two Grey Wardens standing up there holding the torch, just in case, right? I agree with Alistair. We should be in the battle. That is not your choice. If King Kaelin wishes Grey Wardens to ensure the beacon is lit, then Grey Wardens will be there. We must do whatever it takes to destroy the Darkspawn, exciting or no. I get it, I get it. Just so you know, if the King ever asks me to put on a dress and dance the Remigold, I'm drawing the line. Darkspawn or no. I think I'd like to see that. For you, maybe. But it has to be a pretty dress. Hmm. The tower is on the other side of the gorge from the King's camp, the way we came when we arrived. You'll need to cross the gorge and head through the gate and up to the tower entrance. From the top, you'll overlook the entire valley. Sounds easy enough. We will signal you when the time is right. Alistair will know what to look for. I know what I have to do. But can we join the battle afterwards? Stay with the Terran's men and guard the tower. If you are needed, we will send word. I know what I have to do. Then I must join the others. From here, you two are on your own. Remember, you are both Grey Wardens. I expect you to be worthy of that title. 
Duncan. May the Maker watch over you. May he watch over us all. Of course it will. The blight ends here. the bridge and get to the tower of his shawl. What are you talking about, man? Taken how? The Darkspawn came up through the lower chambers. They're everywhere. Most of our men are dead. Then we have to get to the beacon and light it ourselves. Thank you. 
docks.
Missed him, huh? Okay.
shot. Well, all right. As you desire. Is that for me? Really? It appears quite the entire like ourselves. Make his breath. What are these Darkspawn doing ahead of the rest of the Horde? There wasn't supposed to be any resistance here. Weren't you complaining that you wouldn't get to fight? <laughs> hey, you're right. I guess there is a silver lining here if you think about it. At any rate, we need to hurry. 
We need to get up to the top of the tower and light the signal fire in time. Tyron Loghain will be waiting for the signal. So I shall. As you desire. Gain better be ready to charge as soon as we light the signal. The king is depending on us.
course.
floor. The beacon is over here. We've surely missed the signal. Let's light it quickly before it's safe. Of course. <clears throat> is that for me? Really? Wow! Sound the retreat. Uh, what about the king? Should we not do as I command?
Your eyes finally open. Mother shall be pleased. Uh, yes. Where am I? Back in the wilds, of course. I am Morrigan, lest you have forgotten, and I have just bandaged your wounds. You are welcome, by the way. How does your memory fare? Do you remember Mother's rescue? She rescued me. You mean from the tower? Mother managed to save you and your friend, though t'was a close call. What is important is that you both live. The man who was to respond to your signal quit the field. The Darkspawn won your battle. Those he abandoned were massacred. Your friend, he is not taking it well. What happened to the Grey Wardens and the King? All dead. Your friend has veered between denial and grief since Mother told him. He is outside by the fire. Mother asked to see you when you awoke. Thank you for helping me, Morgan. I... You were welcome. Though Mother did most of the work, I am no healer. I will go then. I will stay and make something to eat. Here is your fellow Grey Wharton. You worry too much, young man. You... you're alive. <laughs> I thought you were dead for sure. I'm fine. I appreciate your concern. Oh, this doesn't seem real. If it weren't for Morrigan's mother, we'd be dead on top of that tower. Do not talk about me as if I am not present, lad. I, I didn't mean... But, but what do we call you? You've, ne you've never told us your name. Names are pretty, but useless. The chastened folk call me Flemeth. I suppose it will do. The Flemeth? From the legends? Daveth was right. You're the Witch of the Wilds, aren't you? And what does that mean? I know a bit of magic, and it has served you both well, has it not? It doesn't matter what she is. We need to do something now. We need to bring Loghain to judgment. Why would he do this? Now that is a good question. Men's hearts hold shadows darker than any tainted creature. Perhaps he believes the Blight is an army he can outmaneuver. Perhaps he does not see that the evil behind it is the true threat. The Archdemon. Will you help us fight this blight, Flemeth? Me? I am just an old woman who lives in the wilds. I know nothing of blights and darkspawn. Well, whatever Loghain's insanity, he obviously thinks the darkspawn are a minor threat. We must warn everyone this isn't the case. And who will believe you? Unless you think to convince this Loghain of his mistake. He just betrayed his own king! If Al Eamon knew what he did at Ostagar, he would be the first to call for his execution. Arl Eamon, the Arl Redcliffe. I suppose. Arl Eamon wasn't at Ostagar. He still has all his men. And he was Kalen's uncle. I know him. He's a good man, respected in the landsmeet. Of course, we could go to Redcliffe and appeal to him for help. Surely there are other allies who could go on. Of course! The treaties! Grey Wardens can demand aid from dwarves, elves, mages, and other places. They're obligated to help us during a blight. I may be old, but dwarves, elves, mages, this Arl Eamon, and who knows what else. This sounds like an army to me. So can we do this? Go to Redcliffe and these other places and build an army? Why not? Isn't that what Grey Wardens do? So you are set then, ready to be Grey Wardens? Yes, 
Thank you for everything, Flemeth. No, no, thank you. You are the Grey Wardens here, not I. Now, before you go, there is yet one more thing I can offer you. The stew is bubbling, Mother dear. Shall we have two guests for the eve, or none? The Grey Wardens are leaving shortly, girl. And you will be joining them. Such a shame. What? You heard me, girl. The last time I looked, you had ears. <laughs> hmm. Thank you, but if Morgan doesn't wish to join us... Her magic will be useful. Even better, she knows the wilds and how to get past the Horde. Have I no say in this? You have been itching to get out of the wilds for years. Here is your chance. As for you, Wardens, consider this repayment for your lives. Very well. We'll take her with us. Not to look a gift horse in the mouth, but won't this add to our problems? Out of the wilds, she's an apostate. If you do not wish help from us illegal mages, young man, perhaps I should have left you on that tower. Point taken. Mother, this is not how I wanted this. I'm not even ready. You must be ready. Alone, these two must unite for Eldon against the Darkspawn. They need you, Morrigan. Without you, they will surely fail, and all will perish under the Blight. Even I. I... understand. And you, Wardens. Do you understand? I give you that which I value above all in this world. I do this because you must succeed. I understand. Allow me to get my things, if you please. I am at your disposal, Grey Wardens. I suggest a village north of the wilds as our first destination. It is not far, and you will find much you need there. Or, if you prefer, I shall simply be your silent guide. The choice is yours. I have no problem with your presence, if Alistair doesn't. From the way he glares, I imagine that answer is clear. I just... Do you really want to take her along because her mother says so? Well, we need all the help we can get. I guess you're right. The Grey Wardens have always taken allies where they could find them. I am so pleased to have your approval. Actually, I have some questions. I may have answers. Ask. What skills do you have, exactly? I know a few spells. Though I am nowhere near as powerful as Mother, I have also studied history and your Grey Warden treaties. Can you cook? I can cook, yes. Never mind him. You don't have to cook. You missed your chance. Now it's Charred Rabbit from here on out. I have no more questions. Farewell, Mother. Do not forget the stew on the fire. I would hate to return to a burned-down hut. Bah! Tis far more likely you will return to see this entire area, along with my hut, swallowed up by the blight. I... All I meant was... Yes, I know. Do try to have fun, dear. Have you not left yet? I hope you are not hanging about for some stew. Could you answer some questions? Questions, questions. One would think a Grey Warden would be more interested in action. <sighs> Can I ask about your magic? Looking for new spells. Secrets you think old Flemeth has cooked up over the years. Well, they're of no use to you without years of practicing my ways. I am not like your circle with its books, you see. Not that I would mind a replacement daughter to order around. <laughs> <laughs> Believe me, you do not want that. <laughs> do you have any advice? About the Darkspawn? Yes. 
Only that they are more cunning than they appear. More important by far is the Archdemon. It is the core of this taint, and while it lives, so does the Blight. This Tairnlo gain is different. You must deal with the repercussions of his deeds before you can face the Archdemon, unless it finds you first. I have no more questions. Then we are done. Now, if you will excuse me, I have some dinner to eat. This is Moonstalker at that place for walkthroughs with my Ling of Dragon Age Origins. Catch you on the flip side.